Fear comes generally from not knowing how to do a thing. If you play ping pong, you could get hit in the eyeball with the ball. If you play basketball or something on the weekends, you could break an ankle, sprain an ankle. If you fall in love, you could have a broken heart. If you make a cold call, you can get crushed. It's just part of the game. It's what we do. It's how it is. We know that if you make 10 calls in a row, two sometimes, usually about two, blow up. So if we have eight dials in your ninth, you're probably going down. That's just how it goes. Barnholtz Entertainment. Yeah, hi, uh, is Barry Barnholtson? May I ask who's calling? This is Jacob Schgood. Jacob, what project was this regarding? Uh, regarding a project? Yeah. No, this is not regarding a project. Okay, and you said Jacob? Good. Good. Okay, one moment. Uh, what was it regards to? It's not regarding a film? We call them death questions. Well, they were trained to ask these questions when they were hired, but now that they've worked there for a long time, well, they just don't care as much as they used to. You don't have to answer the question. Well, you do have to answer it, but you have to answer it the right answer. Uh, no, just let them know it's regarding Jacob Good. You know what? We're not asking you to tell them. We're just saying, just let them know it's regarding you. They just, when we do this in class on live calls, the first time we do it and the call flows through, people in the audience are like this. It's like, I can't believe it. And you're like, did you think it wasn't going to work? Okay, one moment. Jacob? Yes? He's on a call right now. Can I take a message? And then they come back and they say to you, Michael, I'm sorry, he's not available. Would you like to leave a voicemail? Uh, can I hold? Uh, well, it, I, I'm not sure how long he's going to be on the call. He might be holding for a while. That's fine. Are you his uh, assistant? Yes. Oh, what is your name? Polina. Hi, Polina. Receptionists aren't out to get you. They really aren't. I was a receptionist at one time, and they are not out to get you. But it's a game of hot potato. They've got a board that's just flipping out and going, lights, lights, lights. All they want to do, and that's why they say, you want voicemail, you want voicemail, you want voicemail? It's because they want to get you off their board. That's all it is. They're not as interested as you think in the questions they ask. The reason I'm calling it is I've been tracking his building. I know it's been on the market for over six months and just wanted to see if he might be open to switching brokerage companies. So they'll say things like, well, we're already seeing so-and-so, we're working with so-and-so for many years. So it's, it's called the other side of the nickel. Well, maybe I can drop something off and just see what we're up to, and maybe there's something else that's smaller that your current broker doesn't want to do, or there may be some other opportunity we can serve you with. So I'd love to just say hi. It all begins with a handshake, an eyeball, and meet somebody. Gary's been working with uh, the current broker for many years now, and uh, you know they have a pretty good relationship. So I doubt he's gonna, you know, move away to to a different guy anytime soon. I, I understand that, and I can respect that. Uh, would it be okay if I came to the lobby and possibly uh, call Barry, and I could meet him face to face, maybe shake his hand? What we find in people doing it on the phone live is they don't lock it down. So if you get an appointment with somebody and you say, okay, so Thursday at, at two, that would be okay? Yes, okay, great. And then our people, when we see them down, they say, okay, then thank you, and they hang up. Okay, well, what I'll do, Polina, is I'll drop it off to you and just say hi and actually meet you, and then uh, maybe you can pass it on to him. If anything happens, great. If not, fine. Okay, got it. Uh, when would be good for you? Um, and then tomorrow morning at about nine. Sure, that's perfect. I'll see you at 9. So when you call and you say, so, all right, so Thursday at 2 then will work? Yes. Okay, Cheryl, so that will be Thursday then at 2 o'clock. Got it. Uh, my name again is Dave Hibbard. That's H-I-B-B-A-R-D. And I'll be driving all the way from Montana with my sick mom. So we'll be there. I'll see you then. I mean, you got to lock that thing down in order to make sure they remember there's an appointment. And then send them an email. Okay, all right. Like 9.30. 9.30? Maybe a chance to set up a little bit. Okay, and you guys are at 23300 Ventura Boulevard? Yes. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, good. Give me a hand. Okay, now wait, wait. Now listen. Notice how he ended the call. This is all good, but notice it. Okay, I'll say it. See, Polina, that's great. Listen, first of all, thanks a lot for letting me at least drop something off. I appreciate it. Again, it is um, Jacob. Good. And I'll see you tomorrow then at 9.30. I'll see you there. I'll bring a little something over. And I know it's probably a slim chance, but 
you know, love to give it a shot anyway. So thanks so much for uh, letting me come say hello to you. That's screwing it down. Because when you just say, okay, good, see you tomorrow. You got it? Now you got to write that down and see her because you, you locked something down there. You got it?